All right, let's talk about some of the amazing drama for your mama, as you called it, <laughs> DIY in the first segment when yes. it comes to moody florals. Moody florals. Let's start with the lamp. So the, lamp the shade. lampshade, this was one of those ideas where I've seen this watercolor floral pattern in, in a lot of fabrics, and I thought, how can I recreate this? And then I went in my brain one step further, how could I do it on a lampshade? Just because why not? Why right? not? It's so beautiful. So I tested a few different ways, and this is the best way that I found. If you okay. pick up a nice silk lampshade, or if you already have a white one, you want to give it a spray down of water first, because keep in mind, we're trying to create this watercolor technique. Right. So spray down some water, wipe it down, and then I found using a really matte paint, like a chalked paint, worked incredibly well. Okay. And I used it just in this charcoal gray color. Now, actually, one step that I just did that I skipped past, wet the brush first. Okay. and have a little cloth ready to go. You're gonna dip a little bit of paint. We always talk that less is more. And check this out. Now, it takes a little time, but when you hit it, the paint on there, you can see it starts to it's bleed. It's watery, yeah. And then the more water you add, and even if it runs, you get this really kind of cool spider effect. Oh, that's cool. And you can just play with it, and whatever kind of flower you want to do, it just will start to like kind of that's seep through nice. the fabric. And literally, this is one of those things, you want to just do it, and then walk away from it. Okay. The more you kind of try to make it perfect in the midst of it, the less perfect it becomes because okay. you really need it to be organic. But you can just see how the color bleeds out, which I think is just so, so beautiful and so simple. So I kind of did an outline of flowers there, but as you can see, I'm just like dabbing. You're doing them a bit different now. Exactly. It's and actually just, hypnotizing. It is, right? I could watch you do this all day. Right? That's very there, cool. Adding more water and then just let it sit, yeah. set it, forget it, and then you end up with something like this. And then a quick coat of something like a spray starch oh, afterwards smart. will just seal it in really, really nicely. Lovely. Makes it really easy. Yeah, try that. And remember, if you do try it, uh, hit us up on Twitter. Absolutely, I'd love to see City line. My City Line, so that we can know, we can follow your projects, we put them Absolutely. up on City Line. And of course, I did this in the, the charcoal, but yes. in a soft pink would be like beautiful Gorgeous. on a lampshade in a little girl's room, depending on yes. the mood you want to create. So on trend too, the gray and the pink. Let's talk about this, this and it's pillow. not crunchy. How you it's made it not, not crunchy. crunchy. And the key is the right type of paint for this. Okay. So I used a fabric paint that I picked up from Michael's ah, on the weekend. Smart. So really easy. This was a $5 cover from Ikea. So Excellent. If, if even, you know, to have this on one side, keep it white on the other, you can flip it around. Now, if you're painting a pillow, this is more process and setting it up than it is actually painting, because you can paint whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But the key is, you're going to want to pick yourself up some foam core, wrap it in cling wrap. And why do you do the cling wrap? Because the paint is going to be wet, and then you can slide this uh. in here, and it won't soak through. Because you can create a masterpiece on one side until you flip it over, and you realize, oops, Oopsies. it's all bled through. So with this right. one, the technique that I did, I just used one of these flat pounce brushes, and I just did a pounce in a circle. Like, nice. it couldn't have been easier to do. So easy and again fabric paint you want for this right. to make it washable. Okay and finally we've got this gorgeous table over here which you've made really nice and moody just using decals. So I think we were all familiar with the great decals like these ones from Ikea so I'm just going to have you lift that up. Yeah. So these are essentially meant for the wall but I thought why not put it on a little piece of furniture so I grabbed the table that was in the set from earlier did a little peel and stick on the tabletop and again a nice temporary way to add the moody floral trend without having it be too permanent. When you're over it you peel those off and move on. You've got a, the that. cute white table back. It's temporary and so it looks simple. absolutely really, really cute. If you want to see the real Leanne, I see <gasps> it all the time. Check out cityline.ca for our behind the scenes footage as she creates the prototypes for today's show. In my bathrobe. In her bathrobe. Literally. Of course, in her bathrobe. <laughs>